We're looking at handling data and we're very interested in four things. Range, mode, median and mean. So let's take an example. Supposing there are seven children having a spelling test. So we'll call one of them A, one of them is B, C, D, E, F, and G. So that's the seven children's names. And suppose A gets six marks out of 10, and B gets five correct out of 10, and C gets six as well, and seven for D. And suppose E is really clever and gets 10, spelling's correct, F gets nine, and maybe G will get six. Now it's a lot easier if we put these uh, numbers into order. So the lowest is five. Then there's three people with six, one with seven, one with nine, one with ten. Now that they're in order, we know that the range is easy to spot. That's the difference between the lowest and the highest score. So range 10 take away five is five. So the range is 10 take five. That's the highest take the lowest. So that's five. The mode, mode is the one that happens most often most often. So which number comes more than any other? Obviously that's six. The median, median is the one in the middle when they're in order. So that's why they must be in order. So let's find the one in the middle. If we work from each end, the one in the middle is six. There's three each side of it. And the mean, the mean is the meanest one to do. It's the hardest one to do. To find the mean, we have to add up all the numbers, then divide by the number of people. So if we add these up, 5 add 6 is 11, add 6 is 17, add 6 is 23, 30, 39, 49. So the mean is 49 divided by 7, so the mean is seven. So the range was five. The mode, that's the most often number, the one that comes up most often is six. The median is six, that's the middle one. And the mean is where you add them all together and divide by the number of people. And that's seven as well.